Hello, a um, bit of change of scenery today, um, but yeah, we're going to preview the Scotland Georgia game. Um, I don't know if this will be the only game I'm able to preview. If I keep looking up there, it's because I've got the New Zealand South Africa game which is going on at the minute, going on. Uh, um, sorry, <laughs> South Africa almost scored. Um, but yeah, I think this might be the only game I'm going to be able to preview apart from time. Due to time, um, I was at the end of the training thing today, and yeah. Um, now, the team was changed for Scotland. Um, thank goodness I didn't look off this a couple of days ago when I was meant to. Um, but yeah, uh, I will review other games if appropriate. Um, there's no like too heavy, heavy weight class. Probably the biggest one is France, Australia. I might look at that one, that's on Sunday though, so I have a couple of days to look at that. Um, but obviously if Fiji shock England or Samoa shock Ireland, I will look at that because that's not really expected to happen. But yeah, let's get into it. So I'll go through the teams, have a talk about the game, and yeah, we'll go in. So starting off as usual with the home team, you've got, um, let's have a look, one, Jamie Batty. 2. Dave Cherry 3. W.P. Nell 4. Sam Skinner 5. Grant Gilchrist 6. Jamie Ritchie 7. Rory Dodge 8. Jack Dempsey 9. Ben White 10. Finn Russell 11. Duhan van der Melder 12. Sione Tui Pilotu 13. Hugh Jones 14. Kyle Stain 15. Ollie Smith Now, 14 was originally Dorsey Graham, but he's recently pulled out due to an injury. Um, now, we think it's just a minor kind of niggly injury and it's just a precaution kind of to make sure that it doesn't turn into anything big um, that's kind of the vibe um, from the Scotland camp um, and then on the bench you've got Ewan Ashman, Rory Sutherland, Javan Sebastian, Scott Cummings, Matt Pagerson, George Horn, Ben Healy and Chris Harris. So Scotland have gone pretty strong now we're going to look at the Georgian team. Now, I apologise if I butcher any of these. I probably will. Um, I don't mean to. It's just these are my mouthful. So I just need to find where number one is because the sheet I've got done it weirdly. So I think I found it. Again, if I get anything wrong, please bear with me. You have got one, Mikhail Navashili. Two, Slava Mumaskalvi. Three, Becca Gigashlavi. Four, Lado Chachadensi. Five, Constantine Makuadetsi. Six, Luca Ivan Shelley. Seven, Mikhail Gaganchiladze. And number eight, Tornke Jalahonia. Again, if I butchered any of them, I probably butchered all of them. And then you've got nine, Vasil Lubahedze. Ten, Luca Matvaka. Number eleven, Marine, Marani Modembidze. Number twelve, a captain, Mirab Shavarkedze. You've got 13, Demur Tapaledze. You've got 14, Akalaki Tubatzude. And number 15, Davat Nina Shivli. Again, I've probably butchered all of them. Apologies. And then on the bench, you've got Tengitz Zamatradze, Guram Giogotchelvi. Yuvam Papadidze, Lasha Janani, Sandro Mama Tarasvili, Gela Apradadze, Tidu Abuzahandadze, and then Gia Gorgi Kveat Saladze. Oh dear. I, I apologise. Uh, yeah, I'll just apologise. 
those those names are just a bit unusual to me. I don't, I don't you know. Um, but yeah, looking at the game on a whole, I think it's a really good test for both teams. Um, and I will cover why. I <laughs> don't know why I said the cover line. Now. Um, for Scotland, it's a brilliant, brilliant test of physicality. What are you doing, cat? Come on, don't scratch the table. We know better than to scratch the table. Um, brilliant test of physicality, um, especially when they're playing such a physical threat like the Springboks um, and the Irish. I think that the Georgians, of all, you know, everyone knows they're a physical team. I think they will batter Scotland about a bit. I think that's good um, for Scotland because it allows them to make sure that they're tough enough for, sorry, the TMO and the South African crowd. I'm watching that. I shouldn't be, I should focus on this. Um, they're, it's a good batter, it's a good tough enough, make sure they're strong enough. No, that's held up. Uh, <laughs> I should really not, but, oh no, we've scored that there. That's a try, surely. Anyway, so, sorry, I, I should stop looking at that. I'm just, I should stop looking at that. Yeah, it's good, isn't it? Well, if you're watching the New Zealand, South Africa, South Africa have just scored. <laughs> um, yeah, it's a good physicality test. It's a good warm-up. Uh, I know last year, uh, or last World Cup for the warm-up, Scotland played Georgia twice, and I think they put out a more second-string team for both those games. And the first team wasn't physical, physically up for it against the Irish in the first game. So I think they've learned, and this game, they're going to go more for, we'll play our first team, we'll risk the injuries, and we'll hope that um, they're more physically fit for, you know, probably the most physical team in the world in the first game. Um, now, the downside to that is the injuries. Um, if, you know, the likes of Finn Russell or Duhan van der Merver or, you know, uh, or Jamie Ritchie or something like that, gets injured, Scotland are in trouble. They rely on their big, you know, big names to keep them going. Um, I think that's why he's gone for a slightly more second-winded front row. You know, he's got Jamie Batty, Dave Cherry and WP Nell, where for first you'd expect Pierre Schoon and George Turner and Xander Fagerson. So well, obviously Xander's serving his last suspension this game, so he wasn't going to play, but he will be back in time for the South African game. Um, but I think that's why he's gone with, and then he's not got, he's got Ashman, Sutherland and Sebastian on the bench, so he's not actually got it, probably his first three front rows, just to kind of make sure, because I think in the physical game, the front row is, I think he's not got some players, he's not got Hamish Watson, he's not got Richie, Gray. Um, I think that's kind of it. I mean, obviously Darcy Graham, but that's different. Uh, no Kinghorn. So he is resting some of his bigger players to make sure. Um, yeah, that's from Scotland point of view. Good test, good physicality test. From the Georgian point of view, now I won't pretend to know every single Georgian player. You heard me butcher their names. <laughs> um, I was just reading them off the sheet, basically. Um, I think, as a test for Georgia, this is a brilliant game. Um, I think that they've been needing, they need more tests against the first tier one opposition. That they're at the point where oh, New Zealand just missed a kick. Um, sorry, they're at the point that they need to start playing tier one opposition. You know, they're fa they're still facing all the lower tier European sites, and they're absolutely hammering them. But they are not quite up to scratch with the top tier one nations. You know, I know obviously they are starting to be competitive. They beat Wales back in November last year. So they are starting, but they just need more games against these big teams. Uh, what's good for Georgia is that uh, obviously their club is playing in the champ, or one of their clubs is the Black Lions, is playing in the Challenge Cup against some of the bigger European teams. Um, now, 
I don't know how competitive they'll be. I don't know the team at all. My initial thoughts is I don't think they'll be quite the standard of the Premiership, URC and top 14 teams. I would love to be proved wrong though. Um, but this is not about the clubs, this is about the national team. Um, it's obvious that the Georgians have a, are having a strong lift for rugby. And I think this needs to build. I think they need to play more tier one opposition. I don't know what this World League will do for them. Maybe that will help them out. Uh, we wait, wait to be seen. But yeah. Um, so, again, I couldn't tell you. If, I, I, I think Georgia's, Georgia's gone pretty strong. They'll, you know, they'll target this game as a you know, good opportunity to see where they're at against a strong opposition. Um, but I, I don't know. I'm not going to sit here and pretend to know. But yeah, my prediction for the game, I think Scotland will win. I think Scotland will win quite comfortably. I'm going to go Scotland by 15-20. I hate to do it because I do really like Georgia, but I just don't think they're quite competitive, competitive enough to really pull something off against a big team like Scotland. Um, but I will say this, from a Scotland point of view, I would rather lose this game with no first team injuries than win it with, say, five first team players injured. Because this game doesn't really mean anything, whereas, you know, it's just a warm up game. Whereas, you know, if, say, Finn Russell gets taken out for a couple of months, that's him missed a little cup. But, you know, that's Scotland basically screwed. Not that we're in a good place anyway, judging by the pool. But yeah. That's my thoughts. Let me know if you agree, disagree, whatever. And I'd love to hear you and I will see you next time. I don't know if I'll be able to preview any other games. I would love to, but just time. Um, but obviously I will cover it if there is something to talk about. And let's hope there is. Um, I will say this now. I hope I can see Fiji maybe pulling it off against England. If they can fix their set pieces. I think Fiji will, but that will be wait to be seen. Until next time, I'll see you later. Make sure you subscribe and that one. The road to 75, I think we're on 60, is it 62, 63, something like that. So we're not far off. Let's see if we can do it. Ride on that hype to World Cup, and until next time, I'll see you later.